What up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, a.k.a. Shorty C94. We are back for episode 83 of Shorty Sneaker Conversations. Um, our guest, the Soul Man, will be on here shortly. Let's see if we can get him. What's up, everybody joining? Hopefully our guest will be here. What's up, sir? Hey, what's going on? Chilling, man. Chilling, man. Welcome, welcome. I hear it. Is that appreciate, you, appreciate you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. I, feel, I guess you're feeling pretty good about last night, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to hold it against you, but I'm a lifelong Lakers fan. So. Yeah, I know. I know. You know, I was just about to say it. <laughs> hey, but I do have multiple Larry Bird and Kevin McHale shoes in this garage. So it's my garage there. So it's the love for the old it. Celtics. Love for the new ones too, but it just burns me that we could have had Jason Tatum, but instead Magic decided to draft Lonzo Ball. Oh. Yeah. That's a hard yeah. one. Yeah. That's 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 tough. That's tough. <laughs> but I am I am a I am a, a Kobe fan, so okay. I do have some I do have some Lakers stuff here. I uh, always loved Kobe. It was crazy because being being from Boston and being a Celtics fan, I always used to get it from all my friends because I'm really like a diehard Kobe fan. So I would I would go, I try to go every time Kobe came to the Garden. Okay, just so, just to watch Kobe. 2008 and 2010, were you were you mm -hmm. born? How, how did that happen? How did how did that work out for you? Yeah, that was crazy because a uh, a part of me a part of me was. I was I was broken because I wanted the Celtics to win, but a part of me was I was happy. I, a part of me was happy because I'm a Kobe fan, and so I was happy. I was very happy for Kobe to get to get that to get that ring. So, like whenever the Celtics weren't weren't in in it, like I would I was like, yo, Kobe. If Kobe wins, I'm okay with that. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> it's weird. I know, but yeah, yeah. With with, with you. <laughs> Uh, this is great. This is going to be a good show already. I ain't even started my normal. <laughs> the hat was a trigger. Um, so <laughs> I have to be honest. Like, I'm from Cleveland, even though I'm a Lakers fan. I never wanted the Cavs and the Lakers to play in the finals because it would have been too hard because I love Cleveland. Yep. You know, we live in North Carolina yep. now, but it would have been hard for me to, to pick the Cavs or the Lakers. It would have it been hard, you know. Right, right. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, you know, since we've already started talking basketball and we're going to talk more after the sneaker questions are over, um, what's the most positive thing you've been able to take from the world since the pandemic? Well, honestly, it's just, honestly, just being able to come closer with family and just, just honestly, like self-growth. Um, just, just being able to just become closer, I guess, after, like, during the pandemic. It's a tough, like, a couple of my family members got it, so it's just, like, um, it, it was kind of real. So uh, we just, like, we became closer. And just a lot of personal growth, just, like, within jobs, just growing and things like that. But uh, just a lot of family, just, just family love and growth. Got you. Got you. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. So – Everybody knows who you are. You know, you want to tell everybody on here who you are, where you're from, what you do. Well, you know, uh, I go by the Soul Man. My name is actually Ed. Um, I'm from Boston. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm low key. I, I'm chill. I don't. It's really it's really nothing to it. Just big sneaker into sneakers into hats. Just I just be chilling. I feel it. I feel it. A lot of sneakers behind you. There. And that's a, a crispy. Yeah, it is a Celtics hat. It's crispy. It's crispy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my mom actually got me this hat, so nice. She knows like I'm a. She knows I'm a big hat person, so I was going on a trip. So before I went on my trip, she she had told me she had got me this hat. So nice. Yeah, like anytime, because like I have the the Kevin McHale fast breaks when he clothesline Kurt Rambis and. Like, my dad, my uncle, they're just like, how could you wear that? Because I have a, a 84 <laughs> shirt. Because it's like, well, he wore that in the yep. 
for finals. How did you wear that? We lost the yeah. seven yet, you know, so I get a whole history lesson like I already don't know every time. Yeah. Like my sister is in on it, like, how could you wear a Celtic shirt? <laughs> yeah. On you, on you. Yeah, they be all be. They be all be. So um, you know, we'll we'll revisit that a little later, you know. Um uh, <laughs> it was great. All right. Um so you know, I sent you the notes, you know, the show breaks down like a basketball game. So yep. jump right into quarter one, which is sneaker beginnings. And what is your earliest sneaker memory? My earliest sneaker memory, all right. It has to be back when I was I was probably like probably I wanna say like eleven, twelve. I remember going back to uh school shopping and I was with my pops. So we was going shopping or whatever, we got clothes. And then I remember going into a sneaker store. I don't remember the this, this store exactly and what store it was, but we went to the sneaker store and like, like I got I got very excited. Like I was so excited to see so many sneakers before. It was it was like a a feeling I can't even really explain. Like it was a feeling like I didn't even get this feeling when I went into the toy store at that at that time. Like I didn't I didn't care about the toys. Though. So. I just remember seeing all these sneakers, and and my pops is a big Adidas hot guy, so I, I specifically remember going back to school shop, and he would always bring me to the Adidas section. He would always see if I wanted to buy some shell toes, like some superstars, because uh, that was that was his thing. So, uh, so I, it was I got in some like growing up. I remember like like the superstars were like my gold to school sneaker like I used to buy those when I was going back to school uh because of my pops um so I remember that it was it was a while and then and then I remember also that switch to Air Force Ones later on um just the all white Air Force Ones I remember that then that became my like go-to shoe uh for school back to school it was just the all white low top Air Force One um um, but that that was my earliest sneaker memory, just being being and going to a store with my pops and just being able to see all those shoes. And that's when it all started. I, I knew that at that time, I knew I loved shoes. I was just like, I was so excited. For sure. For sure. Yeah, that's so, so one thing, you know, shout out to everybody, you know, joining, you know, um, a lot of my people in there, you know, um, one of my friends just said that she said, she can finally we can hear the Boston in your voice there we can hear it you know the blog that <laughs> you know um, but with that being a thing for your pops with the the superstars do you have pairs of those now kind of like honor him or you just like nah I'm sick of wearing those I'm not gonna do that anymore honestly I don't have I don't I have like one pair I have one pair. Just the, the original classic white black stripes. Cool, cool. Yep, this one pair. Gotcha, gotcha. But they're not because they're not that they're not they're not that comfortable to me no more. No, I don't. I can't. You know what I mean? So it's like I can't. No, like I honestly like most of my shoes. Like I'm a runners guy, so like I have I have a lot of runners. Like I have a like we'll get to it, but yeah, I have a lot of like Air Maxes and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Now, we just went over, you know, your sticker memory, um, the first one. Now, what was that, you know, after even after the forces, like, what was that that shit kind of cemented everything? Were you like, all right, I'm in this now, this now. What shit was that? Yeah, so so for me, it was the, the Air Max 90. That, that, that was the shoe that started it all for me. Um, it was the first shoe that I was able to buy that I bought with my own money. When I when I started working, I was able to buy that shoe. That was the first shoe I bought, uh, so that that just holds a memory, a special place in my heart. Uh, but I but I but I love the Air Max ninety, like the the way it looks, the shape, the silhouette itself. Uh, so that's 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 probably my favorite shoe, to be honest. Okay, okay. Now, since we're still kind of in the early part, even before you started uh, working, you know, who were kind of like some of your your style influencers, you know, kind of early, early on, you know, was it a, a relative or a celebrity or, you know, who used to kind of, you know, inspire you, you know, as far as like your early fits? Um, Honestly, I tell people all the time, like, I can't dress, like, even now, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I can't pull no fits off, like, nah. but early on, it's like, there was really, 
like, like I have younger brothers. I have just an older sister and then younger sisters and younger brothers. So I was like the second child. So like, and my like parents weren't really, my, really into shoes or nothing like that. So a lot of, a lot of where I got my influence from was from like sports, like just watching, watching basketball, uh, watching the players, like how they dressed. Like I would try to imitate that, like the the style, like. But uh, growing up, I was like really like, I would wear a lot of sweatpants, like during the winter, and then shorts during the summer. So like I, I would wear a lot of like basketball shoes, like with with like my fits, like, like I specifically remember like the Harachis, like the the two K four, right? The two K fours. Classic. Um, that was that's like one of my favorite shoes ever, like. Like that, I want that shoe back. <laughs> like, but I would rock those like all the time, like with my shorts or sweatpants. Like, that was like, but I, I would, I would always try to imitate like what I saw on TV, sports players, things like that. Nah, I got you. The Hirachi Two K Four is the best basketball shoe I've ever worn. Like, actually played basketball in. Um, mm-hmm. I always count the pairs I have as a part of my. Um, Kobe collection just because I mean I always felt like if he, he if he wouldn't have been caught up at the time the Hirachi 2K4 would have just been the Zoom Kobe 1 yep. and the Kobe 1 would have ended up being the Kobe 3 you know it would have been a whole thing you know those were just some uh, yeah. and even though it was one of those shoes the whole league wore I always looked at it as his because that just looks like a Kobe the sleekness the- see I said the same thing I, I used to say I'm like this is Kobe's shoe like, mm-hmm. this is Kobe's shoe Yep. And yep. I've seen early photos that I actually had a sample in my hand once of where instead of that Hirachi sign at the back, it was supposed to just be an eight. You know what I mean? Like, oh, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right on the, the heel, not kind of on the heel, the heel side, you know. So, yeah. Yep, yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, that was supposed to have an eight there, but, you know. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. And the 2K5. Even though it wasn't as good as the two K four, it still had that Kobe flavor. I remember, yeah, I had I had a couple pairs. I had a couple pairs. I remember. I remember I had the I think it was the black with gray. I think it was a black and gray pair with with like white in it. Yeah. Obviously, but yeah, I, I, I remember I specifically had that pair. Yeah. The store I was working in at the time, we had a picture of um it was actually a poster of Kobe wearing them like on wearing the, yep. You know. But um Yep. Well, Kobe specifically, I'm always like, I always wanted to have a pair as like like he wore. You know what I mean? So when they retro yeah. the 2K4 for the first time in 07, you know, when they came out with all them laser ones, man, I, I regret not buying more of them. Those things, Same. <laughs> they were going before, Same. they really go down. Yeah. Like I used to, like I always tell people, like I was like, I, I loved sneakers from afar for, for, for a long time because like, you know, just the means at the time, like I wasn't, I wasn't able to, like buy the sneakers I wanted, or or get uh, get the sneakers I wanted at the time. I was, you know, I was still young. I was still trying to focus on what I was gonna do, you know, with my life, what I was gonna do for work, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Just trying to get my life together. But so I love sneakers from afar for a long time. So there's like I always say, I started, I started, I started late. I I would say, like, not. I don't know if, if people will say late, but uh, I didn't start in time, so I, I missed a lot of, I guess, pairs that I that I wish I could, like now have. Like, so yeah. Okay. Well, before we jump into quarter two, what like give me an example of some of the ones you know? Because I'm really big on uh, reachbacks. Uh, what's like? Give me an example of a shoe where you like. You know, I really wish I would have grabbed those back then. Oh, look, just going back, like, like a lot of Kobe's. Like, I, I wish I was able to grab a lot of Kobe's. Like, like I really like the Kobe Six. That that's probably one of my favorite Kobe's. And it's, and it's not even because of the, like, the Grinch. Like, I love I love the Grinch. Like the, but I feel like when people say Six, they specifically go to that Grinch because that that's like, but. But I like the six before, like I just I just like the the model, just in general. But uh, but yeah, just just uh, just going back, I wish I could grab a lot of the Kobe's that came came out back. 
when I wasn't able to, you know, get them. But it's a, it's it's this there's a lot. There's like some new balances that I wish I was like it was able to get go back and I mean, yeah, there's no way I'm getting them now because like I'm not gonna pay the the resale. But yeah, no, nah, I get you. I get you. You know, because people people will hit me with the I have a lot of Kobe's, but I still have way more Lebrons. And I'm like, you know, some people. I'm like, well, I'm from Cleveland. I mean, we we didn't get a house of hoops in Cleveland until 2013, so that was already like the end of the Kobe eight. You know what I mean? When we got them, I think they might have got probably the Pit Vipers and the Prelude. It was it was it was like late in the Kobe eight, where it was almost time for the Kobe nine. Like all the good colorways had already come out. So, yeah, um, yep. You know, a lot of people don't know that. Kobe two through six, you really could only get at Foot Locker, you know. So, I mm -hmm. was, when people ask me sometimes, you know, you, you love the Lakers and you love Kobe so much, how come you got more LeBrons? And I'm like, because they were available. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. were available. And yeah. I, at a point, per signature uh, number, they would come out with more LeBrons and KDs than they would Kobe's. He'd have Kobe, some raw ass yeah. PEs, but you know, them bitches ain't coming out, or either they're going to come they ain't out. ain't coming out. Nope. Those are, no. You know <laughs> that. Those like, yeah, man. Not dropping. Purple and gold, <laughs> facts, never coming out, you know. Like, never. <laughs> That's true facts. So, true, to me, between true, three, facts. I always say Kobe was the worst offender wearing uh, uh, PEs that we ain't never going to get. So, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, listen, I don't own no LeBrons. Like, I have no LeBrons in my collection. Wow. No. Yeah. But I... I, I my favorite LeBron though is uh, I do love the LeBron seven. Okay, no, that's that's a good shoe. That's a good shoe. Um, to me, the seven. But I never. Oh, go ahead. I never tried them on. I never tried them on or anything, so I don't know what they fit like. For them to have a full length air unit, they're they're pretty comfortable to have a full length air unit. Um, but to me, the seven is kind of where his line took off. The seven saved his line because if they had kept doing LeBrons like how they were doing, there may not be a LeBron nine now or Le a LeBron line, I should say now. You know, um, yeah. but with Kobe's, the way everybody loves the four and the six, that's how I feel about the five and the seven. The seven is my favorite low top Kobe. Um, nice. My favorite Nike Kobe's in general though are the Kobe two and the Kobe three. The two. Yeah. Gotcha. They're just gotcha. I have a lot of twos, but the three is just so hard to come by. It's it's just too hard. Yeah. I've only got two pairs. Yeah, I was like, I don't I barely see threes. You know, if you do, they're gonna be high or fucked up like somebody hooped in them. Oh yeah. Straight. Yep. <laughs> yep. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. Well, as we, we you know, well, to me we're already in the quarter two we're talking about. Um usually my first question is what was your first job and what sneaker did you buy with that first job? You told us that the Air Max ninety was that shoe, but what was that first job? It was it was a it was a summer job. I was at a camp. I was doing a, a sports camp. It was a summer camp, um, just working with kids, basically. Yeah, that's that's basically what I did. Um, so like I was so into school, like just getting my education or whatever. So like after, like I never worked while I was in school. Like so like during my like. High school years, like I didn't, I didn't have a job. I just strictly went to school. Uh, but then, like towards, like I think my senior year, that summer, I worked that summer job just to have a summer because I knew I was going off to college for a bit. So I worked that summer, um, and that was like my first job, and it was like at a summer camp um, until I went to campus. Once I got to campus in school, then uh, I got a campus job and just started working. Like while I was working. While I was studying, I was working. Uh, and that's how I started saving my money. And then, obviously, when I was done with school, got a job. And, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. We do have a question. One with my Air Force Ones said, how many Air Force Ones do you own, if any? I'll let you <laughs> I'll answer. So, I own one pair. One pair. Respect. Respect. Um, I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, between 80 and 90. 
So a lot of them, I'll, I'll say this, and I really shouldn't because my wife is watching, but it's just a fact. A lot of Air Force <laughs> ones that I, I own probably shouldn't own anymore because they were a moment. Like, for example, in 2006, you couldn't tell me shit when I had them Invisible Woman Air Force Ones, the clear joints. The clear joints. <laughs> <laughs> and I had them about a month before the fake boys started having them. You know what I mean? So I'm like, now, even now, if I wear them, I got to wear that long-ass Nike Premium tag. So I'm like, no, hey, these ain't the clickies, the fake joints. <laughs> <laughs> so even shit like that, like, I got most of that yeah. Fantastic Four pack, but Shit like that doesn't really age well. There's some dunks I have like that too, where I'm like, ah, can I really wear these now? Funny. Forty, almost forty-two. Oh. Yeah. But I love forces. I'm an Air Force One guy. Um, I love. Yeah, them. going back. That's that's another. See, that's 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 another. Uh, that's another shoe where, I, like, I wish I, I at the time that I was able to buy because at the time, like, I I love Air Force uh, One's lows. Like, I love the lows. Um, but at that time, I couldn't buy the ones that were coming out. They were coming out with so many dope ones. I specifically remember the Easter, Ooh. the Easter, the Easter Air Force One lows. I think it came out in two different colors. Yeah, one was oh oh five, and then one was like oh six. Yeah, yeah, those. I specifically remember. I'm like, yo, if I, I wish I could have grabbed those. Like, I, I wish I was able at the time. I wish I was working. I wish I was able to buy. So, so th that that was the time when the Air Forces were coming, like that. The ones I liked, the, I just couldn't buy them. But I wish I could have. I always say, you know, Bay, Bay of the Day, it's been around for a long time. I mean, it's been Biggie's been photographed in it, so it's not like Bape is a new thing. It's been around since '93. But yep. when they were coming out with those Bapesters, I say anywhere from like the year 2000, probably until like '04. To me, it really made Nike step their game up because from, like, the end of 04 probably to about 2008, 75% of the forces that came out, GR or Limited, were fire. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of Air Force Ones um, that I have, I'm still holding on to for dear life or from that time. Oh, yeah. Because that was a really good yep. time for Air Force Ones. Um, it was really good. It was really good. You know, that was the, um, you know, they had the 25th anniversary in there, which was 07. Yeah. They really haven't, they're, they're still good forces, don't get me wrong. But even when they had the 30th anniversary in 12, it was a lot of good forces, but it still wasn't like the 2000s. It wasn't, it wasn't the same. It was a lot of plain shit that they were trying to trump up like it was special, but, you know. Right, right, right. So, yeah, I, I go on and on about that time, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, good yeah. Uh, man, most of the times, man. Guys, everything. So, okay. Yeah. Now, oh, yeah. this doesn't really go with the quarter, but I, I do have to ask. Do you? I know you said you have a pair of Air Force Ones, but I was going through, you know, when I was getting pictures for the flyer, I'm like, dang, man, this dude don't have one Nike on this picture, on this page. You know what I'm saying? That's that's props. A lot of the SIA shoes look like Nikes, but do, do you, 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 your Nike days are kind of past, or if it is, it's fine. But I just wanted to know. No, no, no. I just was. Uh, I just. I took a lot of the pictures I had on my page down. Like I was just. I was just redoing my page. Uh, but the, the the Nike pictures are gonna roll back up. <laughs> um, nah, I still. I still buy Nikes. I still. I still wear Nikes. Yeah, it's not like it's a requirement, but I was like going through trying to gather, and I'm like, okay, I see Yeezys, I see Adidas, you know, <laughs> SIA Collective or SIA Collective, you know. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, I actually I actually worked for Adidas for a little while. Oh yeah, I I was I worked for Adidas for a little while. So nice. Uh, that yeah, that's why I was I do have a lot of Adidas as well. So. so, with you being an Adidas guy and you used to work for them, what are your feelings on how they're trotting out the form right now? Because it's a lot. It's their Jordan One right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I feel like they they do that. I feel like they do that a lot. Like they'll they'll just they're doing it with the boost. They they went crazy. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like the form, so like I'm not mad at it. Uh, whatever. Like I just I don't really got no. I don't I don't care. I mean, I'm not I'm not I'm not buying like I got I have a I have a couple pairs I think, but it just like the. 
I'm not buying them. You know, like, I no, got two pairs. But. I get you. See, to me, Adidas and Nike have a lot of equivalents. The only time it gets really weird to me is with the Air Max. But, like, when I when I see an Adidas, um, to me, a shell toe is, is Air Force One. That's that's equivalent. Yep. Um, yep. A Stan Smith is kind of like a blazer to me. I mean, they have I see it. high blaze. They have high Stan Smiths, but they just don't really come out with them like they used to. But um, yeah. to me, um, the forum it is the Jordan one. The fact that they offer it in high, mid, and low, and the high ones have the yeah. highest quality. It's just like a Jordan they one. Got... Yeah. Um, yeah. And to me, whenever Adidas comes out with something like a a Kobe or a McGrady or a Matumbo, anything like that. That's like Nike coming out with a Barkley or a Penny or a Pippin. Um, yeah. Yep. The Air Maxes is the only yep. thing. Like, I want to put the Micro Pacer and the Air Max one together, but the Micro Pacer is so expensive that I don't know if it's really the same. Yeah. The Air Max 90 and the ZX8000 are kind of the same to me. So, it, it just kind of, you know, certain shoes. Never that, thought about that. But, you know. I hear it. it. I hear it. Yeah. Now, what's the shoe brand that you won't wear? Because we all have them. But what's the shoe brand that you won't wear like now? Nah. Oh, shit. I don't. <laughs> I don't I don't think I have one, to be honest. Oh, okay. So you equal opportunity. You you rocking everybody. I think I, think I, have, I have a. Yeah, I, I'm pretty, I'm sure there's brands that I don't have, but like for the most part, if I like it, I'll I'll, I'll buy it. I'll rock it. If I see it and I like it, I don't really care the brand. I'll, I'll I'll buy it and I'll rock it. Yeah, yeah. My wife and some but, of my hate in the comments, but it's cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, I have a little bit of everything. You ever heard of this brand, Karu? Karu? I have. It's like from Finland. Yeah, I have. I got I got some of those in here. Okay. I got some of those in the collection. Like, uh, I like, if I see it, I like it, I, I buy it. Yeah, I think the only brand that I don't really, I've never had, and not sure if I ever would, is uh, K-Swiss. I've never, uh, I never had a pair of K-Swiss. Well, I would have to agree with you then. I don't, I never had a pair either. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to go buy a pair. <laughs> nah, uh, it's only one style. Got you. Oh yeah, Skechers too. I never had a pair of Skechers. Skechers, yeah. So okay, all right. Well, we'll. But, but any other like like mostly all the like bigger brands. I feel like like people people will buy like like the Reeboks, the Adidas, the Nikes, even Under you know, Armour, Puma now, mm -hmm. Under Armour. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll jump right into um to halftime. So. During halftime, you know, we just kind of talk about whatever, you know, the, the chat, if anybody asks questions. Yeah. Um, do you think you guys are going to come out of the East? We'll be in the finals. Okay, okay. So, we'll be in the finals. The, the series should be 3-1 right now. That's fair. That's fair. It should be 3-1 Boston, but, you know, I'm not, like, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't worried being down two one. Even even being down one zero to start, like I, I wasn't worried. Like I think I think we we've, we've won like I think sixteen out of eighteen quarters. Whatever it was, this that like we've been beating these guys. We just being ourselves, man. I mean, I, I give their defense credit. They forcing the turnovers, but some of our two, some of the turnovers is just we were just giving them the ball. It was crazy. All right, one with my Air Force Ones. Maybe you you had went out and came back in. We we answered. So, um, the, our guest here, the Soul Man, has one pair of Air Force Ones. I've got somewhere between eighty and ninety. Um, <laughs> my friend Key asked, "How many uh, SIA collective sneakers do you own?" Oh, I don't have a number, but it's probably. Maybe maybe twenty or more. Hmm. Okay, let me ask you because I don't. I, I've heard of them, I've seen them, but I've I've never tried any on or purchased any. 
What's the most mm -hmm. um, comfortable silhouette they, they have that you've worn? It's the... It's it's the it's the one he calls the vulture. It's it's called the vulture. It's literally like a sock. It it's like a sock, like top. Like I'll I'll show you. I'll I'll pull up here right here. I'll grab this pair real quick. So it's something like this right here. I have seen that one. So this is like this is like a sock, you know. Literally, like this will form to your foot, and very it's yo know, this this is very comfortable and it's it's like the lightest shoe I've I've held in my hand. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you this, and I don't want you to get upset. Yep. Oh no, no, go ahead. It's comfortable, but is it easy comfortable? Ah. Uh... <laughs> I don't. The only reason I, I, I'm, I'm thinking is I probably worn these more than I've worn Yeezy. Um, I think the 380, the Yeezy 380. Okay. I think I think that's probably one of the most comfortable Yeezys I've put on. I, I thought I thought it's more comfortable than the 350. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, the 380 might be more comfortable. Okay, and the vulture. All right, now what is the the one call that looks like a dunk, but it has the straps? Which one? Which one? Or or maybe it's supposed to look. Uh, like it's on my page. Yeah, it, it, you got like a Laker colored one and a couple of them that look like. Got Laker. you, got you. It's, it it looked like a dunk kind of with like yeah. with straps. Yeah. Yeah. What is that called? They, that, that's it. That's his. That's his skate shoe. So he call, He he calls those. Those are the um, vulture skates. Oh, okay, okay. He made he made that for his skate. He has like a skateboard team. Um, they have like a skateboard like squad. They like they sponsor and stuff. So, I guess he made that as for as a skating shoe. Okay, all right. But, uh, now, yeah. One last. Uh, Basketball question before we jump into quarter three. Yeah. Can you all beat Golden State? Yes. If 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 we're healthy, if Robert Williams plays, if if everybody's playing, yes, we can beat the Warriors. See, you you said it all right there. That that Robert Williams the third, like now you know the Lakers have you know this year was awful for us. If we had a young mm -hmm. big like that, whole season would have been different. You know, whole season would have been different. Yeah. Um, he's a he's such a I tell, he's 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 such a difference maker when he's out there. Yeah. Like um, you see what happened at Bam. Bam went crazy the game three when game three right when they won went crazy. No no, Robert Williams come back. Bam couldn't do nothing. That's true because he's already undersized in his position already. Yeah. Yeah, that his Robert's Robert's size just just bothers people. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. And, and he's he's like he's athletic too. He's like he's running, you know. He's running. He's catching oops. He, it's it's crazy. That's it. Blocking shots. That's that's the most important thing. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think if we're healthy and and he plays, I think we have a chance. Yeah, to me, him and of course, like to me, Marcus Smart. It's like y'all's Draymond. Like he's an emotional leader. He does all of the dirty yep. work. You know, you hate him if he's not on your yep. on your team. You love him. So yeah, I say the same thing. I say that all the time. I was like, if this dude wasn't on my team, I would hate the shit out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like he, he's been on Boston for a while. Like when when LeBron and Kyrie were still together, he, he yeah, that's that's the longest. He's our longest. He's our longest tenured. Yeah, he's the longest player Give that's been promise. on the team. He used to give us some problems. Yeah. He used to, you know, frustrate Tristan and Kevin Love, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I can't wait for tomorrow, man. I'm pretty hyped. I want to see game five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. You think Warriors ended tonight? 
I mean, they should. I mean, all they've done is what, you know, historically all teams do. It's like, all right, we'll let Luca get his, but what are what are you other guys going to do? You know? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So, all right, one more, one more question. One more. One yeah, yeah, yeah. In your time watching basketball, you know, the Celtics have a long history going back to the 50s. Who's the best Celtic you've seen? Whether it's highlights, live play, is it Pierce? Is it Bird? Who who is? It? Oh, highlights. Uh, uh, probably Bird, if I if that that I've seen. But man, like I didn't I didn't get to see Bird like like as much like. Uh, but for me, when 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 I when I think Celtics, you know, by by default, my time I think Paul Pierce. Uh, but. Yeah. That boy Jason Tatum about to be a superstar. Whew. I mean, him and Jalen Brown are really, really good players. I mean, I, I feel like Jalen Brown could be a perennial all-star and, and Jason Tatum could be – I mean, he could be the face of the league. I mean, to me, yeah. it's yeah. always better when the story franchises are good. So the Lakers, the Celtics, the Knicks, and the um, 76ers. Sixers, yeah, yeah, all yeah. four of those teams, and then it's like it's doing a cake if the Bulls are good and the Spurs are good, so yeah, all the markets are, are going. But you know, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Sure. What, what I, do you I, think wait. of Paul Pierce? What's that? What do you think of Paul Pierce? I hate him. Like as a player's game, yeah, Paul Pierce. I hate him, <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> you know, because he. He used to go at the Cavs pretty tough. And, of course, you know, the Lakers. But as, mm-hmm. as a, a player, I mean, he's definitely one of the best in his position in the 2000s. I'll give him that. But he was probably – him and a close second would probably be Gilbert Arenas, probably my most hated players of the 2000s. Gotcha. And I respect gotcha. them. <laughs> They're good. But it's like, man, fuck that dude. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. But yeah, I, you know, so. But yeah, I mean, I, I, y'all have had a lot of great players. I mean, I even D Brown, Reggie Lewis, guys like that. What Lim Bias could have been. So. Yeah, Reggie Lewis. Yeah, I got a, I got a dope plaque. Reggie Lewis out here. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. But every every decade, I'll say I've been watching basketball for real since '89. Every decade has a slew of players where I just I respect their game, but I just hate them. Like, right now, it's James yeah. Harden and Joel Embiid. I probably hate those two the most. And it's crazy now that they're on the same team. And the <clears throat> Sixers are one of my favorite, like, historical teams. Yeah. 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 I, I say the same thing. I say, yo, Embiid, I can't stand that dude. But if he was on my team, I'd be all good. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, after the Lakers, I probably have – and the Bulls. You know, and that's by default. I mean, everybody's got a lot of Chicago Bulls stuff. Just if you wear Jordans, you got Bulls. Jordan, yeah. Um, of course. I have a lot of 76ers jerseys and hats, jackets, because I just – I love their history, you know. Um, I mean, I work for Converse, so Dr. J is still a face of Converse, even more than Magic and Birds. So, you know. Wow. But, yeah. Yep. Yep. So, but, yeah. Paul Pierce, he gets my respect, but I'm also glad that he's not on ESPN because he's I biased. <laughs> yeah, so biased. I said the same. I'm like, yo, this dude, man, he like, just had me done. I'm like, this guy. <laughs> like, anytime they were I used to laugh all the time. He go to another level. So yeah. <laughs> well, you got any uh, any other questions for me before we jump into quarter three? No, not right now. Not right now. All right, for sure. All right, so now we're at quarter three, which is sneaker present, probably 2020 to present, post-pandemic. So, if I'm not being too personal, what area of Boston are you in? I'm in the city. I'm like in, I'm in the city. Dorchester. Okay, okay. I've heard of that. So, in your city, if you don't mind me asking, Where's the hot shit? You know what I'm saying? What store is it where you like, I know if I'm going there, I'm going to see something, whether it's gear or sneakers. What, what's the hot spot? Boston. Concepts? Oh, that's, but, yeah, there's like, there's really like, you have to go like down that way. That's more like like the back bay area. 
Okay. Uh, Back Bay Copley area. Uh, you you'll get your concepts. You got your bodega. Uh, you got your uh, this this a couple uh this like two this like your regular concepts and then they have a an Adidas slash concept where they only sell Adidas stuff. Uh, um, they, you you'll go in there. You'll be able to like they'll have the Easy's in there. Like they'll have Beyonce collabs in there and stuff like that. So it's safe to say uh, you could you could say this as you're an Adidas employee. That's all consortium Adidas shit, like the fancy shit. Okay, fancy <laughs> shit. Yeah, you go in there. I mean, you you walk in there, you walk in there, you you'll see like so. so but yeah, it's mostly fancy shit. <laughs> nah, the, uh, uh, but yeah, that that's the best source to go to. Like if if you wanna definitely like down that way, you have your Nike Town. Um, there's like there's like actual like no Adidas store in Boston, which I, I don't understand That's how funny. or why. We it's only um outlets. We only have outlets. Like we don't have like a flagship store. I, I don't understand why, but uh, yeah. That's surprising. That's surprising. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty whack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. Well, one thing I want to say right quick. One of my favorite Adidas models that I own is the Adidas Boston Super 1984. Um, they only come out with it ever so often. When it came out in 14th, yep. 30th anniversary, it was a consortium release, so I had to really, you know, but um, with with consortium, with you being an Adidas, well, an Adidas person, like with Nike doing Tier Zero, Adidas doing consortium, do you feel like that's good for the game, or do you think it's bad for the game? Uh, I I looked at it as a positive. I don't I don't think it's I don't think I don't look at it, I don't I don't see it as a I see it more as a positive than a negative. To be honest, I got you. I got you. Okay. okay. Now, like I went crazy I, with the It's like with the Ultra Boost line, like. Uh, I went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how crazy is crazy? You, you talking, copping, you know, like, like how crazy? So like, like I, I, I got a lot of Ultra Boost in my collection. <laughs> okay. Now you prefer the Ultra Boost over the NMD? Yes. I don't even. Okay. I don't even own NMD. I don't even wear them. Okay. Okay. I w I wouldn't even buy them. I mean, I I work there, so I try them on, and it's just not. It's just not. It's like, it's nowhere near the boost. It's complete. It's like that's that, that, my foot now. Nah, I wasn't gonna do it. That shit just feels flat. Nah, and, like and if, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, you good. Um, even with the boost, like it's been refined. Like the boost in my 750s doesn't feel the same as a 350 which doesn't feel the same as the 700. So I feel like they definitely re refine it. Um, the only NMDs that I really care about in my collection are the first ones, the black with the white and the blue, the OGs, they call it. The OGs, yeah. I always regret not getting the white one, um, but I, I just was like, man, I'm never going to wear this white, but I'll get this black. But yeah. um, do you feel like the NMD, because to me, the Ultra Boost, people still buy it. It's not... 2015, 16, crazy like it yeah, was. But yeah, no. Do you think the NMD could ever come back and be what it was, or is it over with? Like Hiroshi? I mean, I, I don't I don't think it'll have the same impact as it did before. So, like, I'm, I'm sure that they can, they can, like, try to put, like, pairs or, or do something different, but I just don't think it'll have the same impact. The same thing, like, with the Ultra Boost, right? It, it, they, don't, they don't have the same impact. They keep making these Ultra Boosts like the 21s, 22s, like they, they don't have the same impact as, like you said, in 2015, 2016 of the Ultra Boost, the 1.0s and 2.0s and so on. Gotcha, gotcha. So like okay. a lot of my, a lot of the ones I have are like uh, are 1.0s and 2.0s and, and some uh, 4.0s and 3.0s I have mostly. Like I own a pair of 21s. Uh, yeah, but my, mostly the ones I have are like, the one point those two point those. Now I got lucky. I only have a pair of uh twenty ones because 
maybe two months after they came out, somebody turned in a vault pair and play those closet and they were like forty dollars. I'm like forty bucks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they comfortable it. though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean they're the all vault ones, so they're a bit of a commitment, but they too. <laughs> I'm sure they're bright. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I haven't worn them yet, but I'm gonna figure out something. I don't think I have anything yeah. Adidas this vault, so <laughs> Um, it's all Nike, but all right. Okay. So post pandemic, you know, obviously releases have gotten a lot harder to get. Um, now you seem to be, even before the show, you seem to be somebody who, you know, gets what they like, you know, you, you aren't really subscribing to any hype or anything, but has there been a shoe that you took an L on that was kind of like a hard L? Or were you just kind of like, you know, whatever? I just won't get it. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of got to that point where I say whatever with everything, but I but I did want the the Joe Fresh Goods, the the nine nine two, New Balance that he dropped um, during I think it was the NBA All Star Weekend. Mm -hmm. I think in Chicago, I think he dropped it then. Uh, yeah, that that shoe, that that I took a L on. I entered raffles, but I just couldn't couldn't get it, but. Um, yeah, that's that's one I would I would like to I would have liked to get. But I was like, well, on to the next one. Like the way shoes are coming out now, I feel like shoes like this is shoe dropping like every week or something. You know, it's, it's so often that I miss out on one. I'm just like, hey, I'm gonna see something else. I like, I'll, I'll try for that. Like, <laughs> for sure. Now, what is or is there? an Air Jordan model and or colorway that would get you excited to buy a pair of Jordans? Um, oh, honestly, my, <laughs> I don't, I, would, I don't think I'll buy it. I mean, I don't know, but my favorite Jordan model is the, the, is the Jordan 11. Okay. Uh, that's always, that's always been my favorite Jordan model. Uh, the four is, is second, the Jordan four, like, it's my second favorite. But, uh, yeah, but I don't think it matters what they do or what color. I mean, I, if I just don't think I'll buy it. So like, I just don't. I wouldn't. I don't wear. It. Like I had, I sold all my Jordans because I, I just wasn't. I wasn't wearing them. They were just sitting there. I wasn't wearing them, so I, was, I gotta get. So I just. I sold them all. I, I have like. I have a pair. I have a pair of mids. Jordan one mids that I put on when it's raining and I still won't be fly. It's raining. I'll, I'll put those mids on. <laughs> and then I have like two pairs of lows, Jordan one lows that I just, yeah. But other than that, I don't, I don't have any other Jordan. I sold them all. That's props, man. That's props, man. You're doing your own thing. You know, you ain't got to go with what everybody else uh, does and it's not not because I dislike them. I just got to a point where I just wasn't wearing them. Like I, I just, get, I just don't wear them no more. So I'm just like, let me just sell them. Somebody yeah. else could wear them. Like get get use out of them before they just sit there forever. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Now, what is a pair of shoes in your collection that you could never sell? That's just you know property of the church. You know forever. Uh, some Kobe's I got, some Kobe fives. Oh, when when those dropped the uh, the Kobe uh, is it the parade, the the Kobe five the parade, the big stage. Oh yeah, yeah. Those, those Kobe fives. Um, I forgot when they dropped, but then when they dropped on sneakers, you know, I entered, I entered the raffle and I was like surprisingly hit. So the those those I'll never sell and uh, uh, I also got. Lucky and got EA on the on the Mamba Sita Kobe six, so I was able to grab those. Um, so those those are staying here forever. You're the first person, because me and my wife got exclusive access. But you're the first person I've talked to who actually got through and got theirs. So yeah, it was. Uh, it took it took a minute. No, I, I thought I was gonna get it out because it that shit. Took a minute to move from one screen to. I'm trying to like endless like this. It's a, oh, but surprisingly, it went through. So I was, I was pretty hyped. 
Good, good. Okay, okay. Now, before we move on to quarter four, I do have to ask um, if you have a Holy Grail sneaker that you haven't been able to, you know, get yet. And um, what is it? If you have one, and what is it? I want, um, I don't think I've ever, <laughs> I want the Kobe, the Kobe 6 uh, Think Pink. And I want, I want the, uh, the New Balance collaboration with Concepts, the 998 C notes. Hmm. That shit. Uh, Those are two solid ones. Yeah. So, yeah, I really want that C note. So, but I'll see what happens. I'll see. <laughs> yeah, you never know what can happen. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, those those two shoes, but they're both very uh, pricey. Yeah. On the resale. <laughs> any like any New Balance collab, old or new, you could get you know you could get some nice money for it now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even five seventy fours, which that's everybody's New Balance. You know what I'm saying? So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Man. All right. Well. Now we're in the fourth quarter. You know, time is ticking down. It's got a few more questions for you. Um, we're talking about sneaker future. So what direction would you like to see your collection go in the future? Man, I, I don't I don't honestly don't think it's gonna it'll change much. Like um um I I buy shoes now, like comfort first. Like I, I I wear stuff that I'm that I'm gonna be comfortable in most most of the time, uh, but I I don't see it changing. Like I'm I'm gonna still buy whenever like whatever I want whenever I want. If I see something I like, I'll buy it. Like uh, I don't really see it really changing and like going in that direction. Um, it'll still be diverse. It'll still be yeah. It'll still be diverse. Mostly runners. I feel like. Yeah, I think I think that's I think it'll stay like that. Okay. Okay. Now, this may be a loaded question because you wear you know, New Balance, Saucony, Nike, you wear a little bit of everything. What in your opinion is the best runner that you've worn? Like all right, so like in terms of like like style, like a style runner. Style, comfort, you know, just this is the best running shoe that I've I've worn. The best running shoe. My best running shoe comfort wise, I'm gonna still I'm gonna go with the Ultra Boost. Okay. Okay. Uh, comfort wise running, yeah. Um but like yeah, I'll say the ultra booster. But like for like like, I I don't know. Like, would you consider like an Air Max ninety a runner? Yes, because it was at one point. That's what that's that's what I'm saying. But see, like that, like I'll style that. That's like my favorite runner to style. Right, it's the Air Max ninety. Gotcha. So like, if I'm a style runner, like I'm gonna probably put on an Air Max ninety and, and, and style that. And I'm not gonna okay. obviously I'm not running in MX ninety. No, no. No. <laughs> what are you on the on the Air Max ninety five? Oh, I, I like them. I have a I have a few in my collection too. Uh, um I wish they would drop some more damn ninety eights. Um but God damn ninety eights are fire. They they're one of the most comfortable. Yeah. Ninety eight is my favorite Air Max. Um I feel like I'm one of the few people I like that 98 more than the 97. Most people look at me like oh, I got ads when I say it, but it's got the same air bubble, midsole, outsole, but the upper is more comfortable. It's wider. It's more comfortable. You know, it's, you could tell. I mean, yeah. But as soon as you put it towards the nine, I would lean towards the 98 more too than the 97. I know people go crazy, but, but, but I do. I wish I had, I wish I could get my hands on more 98. 
Yeah, what sucks about the 98 too, and some people get offended when I say this, but I don't mean any offense to it, but they just come out with too many hood colorways, man. It's just not, that's not what that shoe is for. That's what the 95 and the 90. That's what the 95. <laughs> and the BW. Leave that for, well, shoot. They don't really do that with the BW like they used to, but they used to. Leave that for I the 95 it. and the 97. Right. Back, you know, back. don't come out with an all red ninety eight, man. We we don't need that. Don't come out with the all. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I got so. I got this. I got one that I forgot what yeah, when it came out, but they're like they're like uh, I call it like the Phoenix Suns. They're like they're like they got like purple, orange, like some gray. It's pretty fire. Hmm. I'll show you right here. Let me let me pull it up real quick. if you can see this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are hard. I remember those. I think those are from like 18, 2018. Yeah, eight, I think 18 around there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. yeah, I wish I could get some more, some more of those. I wish they would drop more pairs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with <laughs> you on that. The 98 gets some love because yeah, most people live some love. 90. On ninety seven, that's it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Now, what is on your radar next? Like, what, what is the soul man looking for? Like, that's coming out over the next few months. Like, you know, I'm gonna try to get this. You know, like, um, nothing. Okay. Uh, honestly, I haven't. Uh, the last shoes I bought with was uh, those Kobe six, the Mambasitas. Um. Just because I got EA and I just like I couldn't pass up to try, so I tried. Um, but before that, I haven't I haven't bought sneakers in, in in quite a bit, quite a while. So just haven't been buying nothing, nothing really. You know, I haven't really seen nothing that I really really want. Um, you know, I'm 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 content with everything I have now. I'm just trying to focus on wearing everything I have now. <clears throat> I really admire your contentness. I don't even know if that's how you say that word that way, but I, I am your contentedness or contentness. Yeah, I really do. Uh, nah, because it's like, uh, yeah, I just, you know, I don't want to buy. Not that I don't want to buy. Like I said, I just don't see anything I really want. And uh, for me, I guess it's, it's a little easier, I guess, than most people, because, like, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not chasing, like, these, like, Jordans, but I don't. Like so, it's like that's one one brand out, like because I'm I'm not wearing Jordans, and I'm not really like a big collab person, like to, to like those like those Travis Scott ones that are about to come out, the Air Max ones. Like I'm not I'm not moved like I, I'm not entering no raffles. So if anybody, if we cool and y'all need me to enter a raffle for y'all, and y'all want, y'all let me know. I got gotcha. y'all. If we cool. <laughs> if we cool, if we cool, uh, which is everybody, I'm cool. I don't, I don't really, I don't really. Everybody that I I came across on here on IG just show love. Like I don't, just really not. So. Um, I wanted to say I, I appreciate you know the love that you know you've shown me on here. You know I, I really appreciate it. You know you've always uh, shown love, and I really appreciate that. Of course, bro, no doubt. You know now. Before we go, I have to thank you again for being on here. Thank you very much. Appreciate um, you. Appreciate you for having me. No problem. Now, before we go, did you have any more questions for me? Uh, what what's your favorite shoe? What's your what's your favorite shoe? That I that I own. Own or you don't have to own it, but just what's like your favorite shoe? What's your favorite model? Like, is okay. it a brand like brand specific? Well, um, two that come to mind, um, I have a pair of Chicago ones that I've had since eighth grade, so since 94, mm. 94. Um, They're still wearable. They're very oxidized, and there's a slight bit of heel drag on the right shoe, but I still probably wear them two or three times a year. Um, and my Magic Johnson Converse weapons. Nice. Magic's nice. my player. I just got the Larry Bird pair earlier this year, and I had to find them in 
Italy or France or something like that. Cause the, no, because Converse, we brought out a pair, but they got like a chunky bottom. They're not like the same regular old Converse weapon that Burger gotcha. So I, I did yep. grab those, two, but I finally found a pair of just the regular black and white weapons. For as prevalent as that shit was in the early 2000s, I just could not find it. That's crazy. And yeah. wearing, yeah. my, my father, you know, if he sees me on Facebook, he'll be he'll post underneath like, "How could you wear that?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh good. that's hilarious. Oh, that's what's up. That's that's too good. Too yeah. Good. Well, before we go, DJ Monte Carlo um, asked the question: What's one sneaker from the '90s that hasn't gotten a retro you would love to see come back? I'll elaborate, but you know, um, I'll let you go first. Let me get the computer ready. Yeah, I'm not sure if the, I would like to see like the Jason Kids come back. I will buy those. Got gotcha. you. Um, yeah, I don't. Know. I'm not sure if they did retro. If they did, I would sleep or during the time that I wasn't able to buy kicks. But I, I would like to see those. I, I would wear those. Okay. Definitely. Need some. Yeah. It's, it's one shoe I always talk about on my lives. Um, <laughs> they're going crazy at the Cobbits. Um, there is an Air Max. It's called the Air Max 294. It's a runner. Um, it came out with the CB94, you know, the Barclays. Oh, Barclays and uh, the Trainer 94. I always show it on here, but... For whatever reason, I don't seem to be able to get into this computer. So, um, my son may have been tampering with this. <laughs> oh, no, nah, here it goes. Cool, cool. So, um, here it is right here. Gotcha. gotcha. So, if these ever, ever come back, you know, this till swoosh, that gray, That's that is smooth. a Think of beauty. That is smooth. Never retros. Oh, yeah. I'm quitting. I'm quitting sneakers. <laughs> quitting. Comes back. That's it. That's yeah. It. I'm trying to get 20 pairs, maybe even more. <laughs> That's it. I respect so, it. I respect it. Uh, man, well, listen, thanks so much for uh, being on, man. And I'll be looking forward to seeing more heat from you, you know. And uh, we will be messaging about how these playoffs come out. You know, to be, oh, for so. sure, for sure, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me, bro. Appreciate it. It's a good no time. problem. Thank, thanks to everybody in the, in the comments, too. I'll see y'all soon. For sure, Peace. yeah. Appreciate the question. No problem, man. Take care now. You too, bro. All right, now.